Cause I really care too much It's all just overwhelming I'm just overthinking I feel like I'm too much Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically, I know I shouldn't feel this way guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here welcome to a weekend vlog today is saturday i uh, yesterday i couldn't vlog well not that i couldn't i didn't um i had my friends over and we were just having such intimate and beautiful conversations that it just the day went with me i think i only was able to vlog um, me just making them breakfast let me see if i can find another spot because we currently have load shedding you yeah, know this one's not great we currently have load shedding it's eight o'clock now and so the light is not that i don't have light and it's gloomy outside let me see if let's see okay this is oh this is much better um yeah we have a little chilling so gloomy outside and it's raining it's literally a day to chill indoors but i made plans with my sister and we are going out for lunch well she doesn't know it yet but she's taking me out for lunch if you guys watched my last weekend's vlog when my friend Nogwe um, did that TikTok thing and I was just so blown away. She wanted to tell me that she got a promotion and she did, she made me choose like where we're going to Mklanga or Florida. She made me choose what to eat, what to drink and stuff. I was so excited about that game and obviously at the end she told me about her promotion. Um, I was so excited about that game because I always see it on TikTok and I'm always just like, I'm single. I don't have nobody to do this with. And then I, it always hits me that as single as I am, I get so much intimacy and romance from my friends and sometimes myself, you know, like I'll romanticize my life now and then. I haven't bought myself flowers in a very long time, but I mean, I've been broke. When I get paid next week, I'm going to get myself flowers. I'm going to take myself on a dinner date. Um, my friends always do that for me when they can. They do things for me. They like it's little things man and when Nogwe did that for me last weekend it was like such a reminder that i have such beautiful friendships 
literally i get everything from my friends the only thing i don't get from my friends like i get intimacy i get love i get i get romance i get gifts i get hugs i get oh i get every the only thing i don't get from my friends is sex like literally that's the only thing i don't get from them and maybe it's because i've never asked maybe if i ask maybe they would i'm joking i'm not gonna ask my friends for sex but <laughs> point i'm trying to make is that when Nogue did that for me, it just made me realize how special my friendships are and the amount of Im intimacy and romance I get from them. So as a result, I'm going to be copying Nogue's idea with my sister today. I've got, um, there's something that I want to share with my sister and I'll share also with you guys, but like maybe in the next two to three weeks, um, I've got good news to share with her. And I'm going to do it the same way Nogue did our little date. So I've got like these options. You obviously guys can't see them because my handwriting is horrible. But like these are the place. Oh, please mind my nails. Ghetto and honey. It's a rat ha ta ta. Um, oh, I don't have money to do nails. So I'm just going to stay like this until someone offers me nails. So I've got these two options. I'm going to go to her side of town, which is in Santon. So we're going to first, well, I'm going to go wax. My wax lady is in Lone Hill. But unfortunately, because I don't have a car currently, um, everything is expensive. So I can't Uber to Lone Hill just to Uber back again to Santon. So I was just like, I oh, hope no, must just get me her wax lady who's in Santon, which makes sense because at least that's where we're going. So since we're going to Santon after waxing, so these are the two options. It's Solo or Aram. Orem. Um, then here I have for drinks, I have the options of wine or milkshake, which now that I think about it, it's bad options because I can't have either. But I guess this is for her to choose. I can't have either. Um, I'm on Lent, so I'm not drinking. I know I drank last week for my friend's thingy, but I mean, I had a glass of toast to my friend, but I'm still on Lent and I want to continue respecting that. And then the milkshake, I don't, I can't drink milkshake. I'm lactose intolerant. Like the most of a milk I can get, I can have is like this much in a coffee, but a milkshake is literally, I'm, I'm asking to die, but I guess. I don't have to redo these because these are for her to choose. Yeah, this is for her. And she loves a milkshake. And I'm not sure if she's drinking or not. She has seasons or moments where she drinks and she doesn't drink. So I'm not sure now. And then for food, um, I have salmon or sushi. But I think I'm going to scratch sushi. I'm going to say salmon or oxtail. Because the weather says... Yo, no, this weather is like very much, it's giving very much, um, comfort food. I just wrote, wrote it down now, oxtail or salmon. Um, and this is, we, this is both our choice, basically. Um, sushi, this weather is not a sushi weather. And then for dessert, I have malva pudding or chocolate brownie. But this will be dependent on what dessert they're serving at wherever we go. Then I have exactly the same thing that Nogue did. Bad news, you're paying. <laughs> um, I don't. I think she knows she's paying because she knows I don't have money. She knows I'm not paid. And then I have this card. Then has the good news that I want to share with her. I can't wait to share with you guys as well. It's just that because. I'm in, in court with my baby daddy. There's just so many things that I can't do or share out loud. But my baby daddy is a prick and I don't want to share something and then he uses it against me in court. Um, he's literally a prick, you guys. If you watched my sit down where I spoke about, where I was doing that get ready with me, you would have known that last month I didn't get paid on time and then Milani school fees was like due here. It was they were on my neck about it so i had to reach out to him and ask if he paid if he can pay the school fees and he paid the school fees tell me why he wants his money back tell me why he told me that for the next two months being march and april he's not going to be paying maintenance because he's going to be basically paying himself back for helping helping 
beg. No, he used the word help for helping me out. He's going to not, he won't pay maintenance for the next two months. And I had to respond to him. And I said, it's fine. Do what you need to do. Vele, I don't want people thinking, why they rescue me, especially him. But I, it's him saying, I won't be paying maintenance for the next two months. And me saying, it takes you two check paychecks, two maintenance paychecks for me to cover one month school fees. Think about that. Think about that. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm going to phone my I back. I'm going to be going to be money to go pay for my cousin or my my niece. It's his daughter. What he wants his money back, the one he used to pay school fees. He wants it back. But I was just like, you know what? It's fine. Don't pay maintenance for the next two months. That's how much of a shitty person this person is. So I do get afraid now and then that I might share something here on with you guys. I love you guys to death. I share everything with you guys. But I know him and his people watch my channel to stalk me. So I don't want him to then use whatever it is that I share against me. So once our court date our trial is done um our court trial is done then i'll come share here what um, i'm going to share with my sister then speaking of good news i got my first wig i want to say sponsorship but it's not a sponsorship because they're not paying but they gave me a free wig south african brand called natural hair wigs oh natural girl wigs she's got she said she's going to once i let her know we, um, that I received the wig, she's going to let me know. I think she did actually send an email. It's just that I did not open it. I want to show you guys this wig. She made me choose. Well, she didn't make me choose. She just said, this is the wig she's going to send me. <laughs> and there's another one that I, it's expensive though. So I'm very grateful because she, I mean, she gave me, she's giving me a very expensive wig. There's another one though that I saw, which I think that I'm going to buy. Um, from her website very very nice and it's so so me how do i open this so it's like an afro wig love that i mean it comes in this netty thing oh it feels so soft um oh, oh it's giving natural sister and then it has this thing where you can pull and then you can tuck it in. See? I remember thinking, mm, it's going to look like, it's going to give old lady. Does it give old lady? I remember think, feeling like, oh, when she sent me a picture of the wig that she sent me, I was just like, mm, this wig is going to give old lady. But it actually doesn't. It's giving black sister. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wear it today. Because I think I need to like put some water in it. It's giving. So I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. It's giving. One day, when the glory comes, it will be ours. <laughs> okay, let me let me be serious. Yeah, but it's giving freedom fighter. But I like it. I think I'm just going to yeah. I'm going to stretch it and stuff. Maybe I'll wait tomorrow. Oh, I manage it. The weather is gloomy and I want to wear a hat. So I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I want to wear makeup. Let me call my sister and find out if she's wearing makeup. So Norma says that we are wearing um, a little makeup. Like because it's gloomy, there's no point to be beat to the gods. So I'm just going to go put a little bit of, let's go put on a little bit of makeup and get dressed. It's already half past eight and I'm going to leave my house at nine. I've got my appointment, my waxing appointment is at half past 10 but i've got load shedding i can think it's lana so let me just guys there's this cat that loves my house and i think i'm going to kidnap this cat oh it's gone i can't even show you a picture i can't show you a video of it this cat loves my yard i hope it comes back i might just kidnap it and make it my own can you kidnap cats i, I don't know or maybe i must just buy a cat i may be i may not kidnap this one because I do feel like it is illegal to kidnap a cat. Um, but I'm definitely going to get myself a cat. Anyway, let's go do my makeup, you guys. <laughs>
You guys, I am ready. I just need to put a wig on, but I feel like this look, this coat makes this look a bit dramatic. So I might change into a less dramatic coat. Yeah, I like, I mean, I like this look, but I mean, we're just going out for lunch. Let me see if I can, hmm. Let me see if I can get like a less dramatic coat, but I, I love, I feel like I love this look, but it's just lunch. Okay, let's try another coat. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this jacket. Oh, where's my pockets? Yeah. Yeah, that one is cute, but it's a bit. Maybe if I wore sneakers. Maybe I should just wear sneakers, ne? Ginga, be like over. Overdressed. Yeah, let me just change into sneakers. I love these boots, but let me change into sneakers to complete my look. Okay, you guys, here's my final look. I've changed like a thousand times. I ended up not wearing the sneakers. Okay, my Uber's here, but. Let's go have some lunch. Well, let me go wax first these armpits and then let's go have some lunch. Yeah. Get through to you. Yeah. Hey guys, I just arrived at my sister's house and I'm feeling so sick. Like, oh my God. Like, I feel like maybe I need to vomit. But I haven't eaten, so there's nothing that I'm going to 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 take out. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, I've just arrived. I've arrived. I've arrived. I feel like I look so cute. Let's. Let me maybe take. What am I gonna take? Let me see if I can drink some. Ugh, Mama doesn't have sparkling water. She doesn't drink sparkling water. But let's see. I'm not cancelling. No illness come against me shall prosper o'clock are you naked why are you we are going to go out I've been waiting for Norma to get ready for the past two hours. I've watched 50 11 vlogs and she's still not ready. I'm hungry. Hmm? What's the point of eating food here if we're going out to eat? It's a place that opens at 12. It's 2 o'clock. Well, it might as well be 2. See a fully restaurant now. Yes. Let's go. See what happens when people don't have their kids around. <laughs> I should just have my kids around. Life is better with my kids. People are on time. I'm <laughs> Like, it's literally been. We came back at 11. It's been two hours. It actually has been two hours. You didn't come back at 11. What time did you come back? It was 11. <laughs> okay regardless of what time we came back can we go i've been ready twice guys twice comfortable she still does not know what she's going to wear <sighs> don't have little sisters okay so no one cares I want to do so I was inspired by no this thing last week so that's what we're doing. Okay, cool. Is it great lighting? For it's focusing on this. Okay, do you want great lighting? <laughs> <laughs> Is 
take me to Orem, sis. You're taking me to Orem. Do you want to see the other option? See Orem, get my name. Yeah. I feel like this is budget of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to Solo. You're the only person who's gonna be having them because one, I don't take the one, and the other, I can't take the one, the other. Because I'm milk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it has lots of milk. Okay. <laughs> the other one has a milk. <laughs> After Ang I was just like, well, these do not make sense for me because I don't drink a milkshake. <laughs> And I'm on Lent. I know, that's why I was just like. Thank God, I picked one. She's putting all our alpha cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there a one a two a <laughs> They don't have it. I looked through the menu. So she doesn't trick the op also the options I had for food. It was oxtail and salmon. They don't have neither here. Yeah. Neither, they neither. Have salmon. It's not the one I I want the smoked salmon. Here they have that Norwegian one where you can buy the least for 50 Rand and it's 300 so pointless. She <laughs> <laughs> So Unama wants us to get appetizers, so we're gonna get the oysters and the duck. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Yeah, I know I lost. What is this? What what option is it? No, you're just gonna have to pick one. <laughs> Are we going somewhere? <laughs> Are you buying me something? Just pick one. Are we picking who's paying? <laughs> just <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do you have my name in both those things? <laughs> Finally, don't get no fuss. Finally, be riding on my way. Finally, woke up 
with some luck in the book. I don't give up with someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. For the night, way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the flame burn out for a while. Stay in the moment. Guys, I've just left Norma's house. It's six o'clock, well, 10 past six. They have load shedding, so I'm like, I'm out. But now I'm not Ubering straight home. Luckily, Lucia and her boyfriend are around, so I'm Ubering to them and they can, and then I'm gonna ride with them home. Because yes, as I didn't realize how long Uber trips are to Norma's house, because I always drive here. And when you're driving, you are basically like, I'm in my own car, I'm comfortable, um, blah, blah, blah. But when you're in an Uber, as a woman, you have to be alert. You can't put your own earphones on, you can't put music on. You have to be nice. So when um, Lucia says she's this side, I think this is my Uber. When Lucia was just like, they're this side, I was just like, give me a ride. So I'm Ubering to them now, which is about 10 minutes. Then I am going home. up to brush my teeth and put my gown on because it's a bit chilly you know for the longest time in my life let me see if i can put this here oh, okay yeah, no. for the longest time in my life you guys i've never had like what is it body clock problems issues or whatever i almost said body count but <laughs> we all have that well you know i have that um i've never had like body clock issues uh, my I would wake up whenever I tell my mom, whenever my body wanted to wake up, and on weekends I'd probably wake up at like nine ten. And when I was younger, I get could sleep until one two. I mean, now that I think about it, that was not that normal. Maybe I was just a little bit depressed. But now, like now, this week, like okay, so I came back on Wednesday, right night, and I'm thinking, okay, cool. Um, I don't have to wake up. When the kids are here, I wake up at quarter to six. And then we leave the house at like 22, quarter to seven. So I'm just like, okay, the kids are not here. I don't have to wake up that early. I only start working at nine. So I'm just going to wake up at like eight. Tell me why since Thursday, since I've been back, I've been waking up at six. Yesterday, I woke up at like half past six. Today, it's quarter past six. It's a Sunday. Why am I waking up at quarter past six? But I'm thinking, do I, oh, but I don't think so. Because I'm thinking now, do I want to maybe jog to gym? Because gym for me is a walking distance. I can jog there. Um, or do I just relax in bed? 
until because i've got a kiddies party it's bahole's party um birthday today bahole is unati's son he's turning three today and it's so crazy how she gave birth on the day we went on lockdown when the lockdown was announced three years ago he's turning three jesus 2020 was three years ago yeah damn He's sitting three today and Unati is throwing him a party. So no no Tando and I are gonna go to the party. But the party starts at one. So between now and then, I literally have nothing to do. And my plan was to wake up around ten. But my body was just like, no girl, we're waking up at quarter past six. So in my head, I feel like I, I oh I need to be productive. So I was like, should I go to gym? Lapa, I never go to gym on Sundays. I'm always home on Sundays with the kids. But my body is like, no, rest. Because now, manja, as I'm speaking about gym, my body is just like, go by. So I think I'm just going to rest and watch some housewives or something. And then I'll wake up if my body wakes me up. Well, I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to, like, doze off. But I'm just going to lie in bed. Probably go downstairs to make tea. Oh, the other day, Lucia was here and she left these. What is this? Madeira cake. That's my breakfast. Let me actually just watch some housewives and chill in bed. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you've been, where you hide. Hey you guys, so I've decided to get out of bed and be a participating member of society. I was supposed to, so my plans for today was to go to Unati's son's birthday party in Centurion and then come back and um, I need to help Lucia out of something so go to Lucia's house but then it hit me it actually hit me that I think I've got time but I actually don't this weekend and next weekend are the only weekends where I'm child free so I want to do as much as I can and next weekend my sister and my cousin Mbale and I we have a sistercation so um i know that i'm not going to be able to do anything with anyone else next weekend and then the weekend after that it's the easter weekend and my kids are coming back so i just decided right to let me try and fit everything at once so what i'm going to do now what i was supposed to help lucia with in the afternoon i'm going to go to her house now it's 10 to 10. i'm just going to quickly get ready to go to lucia's house then from lucia's house we're going to no time and i are going to bahole's birthday party and then from there i want to go see my friend ayanda um, it literally, as I'm saying, it hit me today, this morning, that I go, I don't have time. I thought I had five weekends to myself. I don't, and I want to make the most out of this um, time with, uh, away from the children. I want to see all my friends and I do all of these things. So instead of going to Richard's house later on today, I'm just going to go now and then the birthday party, then I end this house. But because I thought I had time, in my head I was just like, oh, I'm going to, I want to do try the bold cap method the wig bold cap method but i just realized that i've run out of wig caps and this one it's holding on for dear life and i've been using it for a very very long time guys having a child who uses the same things that you use i guess i don't have to slick my hair down who uses the same things that you use is a problem you see now she took she took um our gel it's my gel she took it to durban so I want to stick my hair down. I've never done this before, but I feel like I've watched enough um, TikToks. <laughs> I've watched enough TikToks to try, <laughs> to just like experiment. See, I see they do this. Okay guys, let's try and do this bold cap wig method and see if I can do it. It just hit me now that this thing probably needs a hair dryer, which I don't have. So I wonder if I just use this. I mean, this is to lay your ages, not to dry this, but I mean, what's going to happen if I just use this? Give me something for the pain. 
Always trying to pretend that I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself. Oh, I knew how this would end. Okay, you guys, I'm done. I'm ready to go. I have to show you my outfit. I feel like I look such like a, a cool, sporty mom, but without the kid. I don't have the kid as my accessory, but this is the first time wearing these pants. I got it at Sheen last year. I'm so excited. They fit so nicely, and I've lost a little bit of weight, so they really, really fit nicely, especially here. Um, I still have my headband on because I'm not really fully ready, but I'm just going to call my Uber now, go to Lucia's house, and I'll see you guys later. The sun looks so good on me. Just <laughs> Suburban dogs. Huh? No, it's the camera's facing me. The sun looks so good. Oh, while we here, take a picture of me. The sun looks so good at me. Are you done putting your jersey? Can I show you in my vlog now? Gosh, Rory is so dramatic. Hi guys. <laughs> Go. Are you kicking me out? Yes. On camera? Yes. <laughs> okay, no lose here. We're off to the birthday. Hi. Hi. You look pretty. Hi, Mazani.
black people, guys. Come, Danny. We have to write on our gifts. Lapo, we just saw Unati in the parking lot. But I don't think it's Boni. Yeah. Can I so far, I mind you. I forgot that we didn't do last minute. We actually bought this on Friday. Yes. It's just that we didn't write on the, in the stuff. Are you taking a picture of me? Of yourself? Guys, <laughs> all I see is children and they are so loud. And I'm just so happy that oh, I don't wow. have to be involved. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so excited. Here's the birthday boy. Here's my birthday boy. Hi. Hi! Hi! Say hi! Hey, mommy. Today, let's show me take you to the I've been shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch those cross seas on me? No drama, more flights. Next year's I'm laid up in somebody grass. I'm burning the gas to my last breath. Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high you can't see me. I'm seated. She wanna beat me, I'm trying to do Fiji. I live on the island alone. I'm trying to be one with my aura before I allow your soul. It's me! Hi! It's me! I'm the problem, it's me! <laughs> Happy birthday! 